Good morning, students. I am Dr. Geeta Lakshmi Narayanan, Senior Faculty of Competitive Edge Academy. Today, we are going to uh, see the lesson RS Notation. RS Notation is one of the important topic in the NEET questions as well as in the IIT JE pattern. What is RS Notation? RS Notation is nothing but this notation was given by the scientist Korn in gold prelog nomenclature prelog nomenclature so this was discovered by three scientists con in gold and prelog we all know that a particular organic compound is optically active or inactive we know that using the polarimeter only we can identify whether it is optically active or inactive but in the classroom situation where we have to go for polarimeter for that situation we are going for this con in gold prelog nomenclature whether the particular compound is optically active or inactive that can be identified using this rs nomenclature what is this r represent if the system is clockwise rotation then it is r if it is anti clockwise then we are saying that it is a s notation the r clockwise systems are nothing but they are called optically active systems if this is optically positive isoma then the s notation is optically negative rotation so we can call these two as enantiomers what are enantiomers tell me what are enantiomers enantiomers are nothing they are optically active isomers but they are all non superimposable mirror images what is meant by non superimposable mirror images the image and object should not match with each other that is called as the non superimposable mirror image come on tell me what are the conditions that are needed for the optical activity one we are saying that it is chirality yes what are chirality what is chirality chirality is nothing but the carbon should have all the four surroundings as different one if you have four different groups attached with the carbon then we are calling that as a chiral center then the second condition is we are saying non superimposable mirror images these non superimposable mirror images are called enantiomers so we can call this r and s as a enantiomers so now today we are going to learn the topic how to design how to assign a particular compound with r or s let us take a chiral carbon i am going for an example let us take a carbon compound carbon hydrogen oh ch3 it is ch2ch3 now if i am given with if you are provided with the polarimeter definitely you are going to tell whether this is optically active or inactive now in the classroom situation how we are going for this in the classroom situation how we are going to identify whether the given compound is optically active or inactive now check whether this is having a chiral center yes this is having a chiral center because all the four groups surrounding carbon are different fine now i am going to assign whether this is optically positive isomer or optically negative isomer how we are going to assign take a compound now assign priority for this four group based upon the atomic number now tell me which is having higher atomic number oxygen is having the higher atomic number now next is both are carbon carbon now assign the priority among methyl and ethyl ethyl is having the higher priority than methyl group then the third priority comes to methyl though they are having same atomic number you check the next atom second atom second atom here is hydrogen here the second atom is hydrogen then go to the third atom third atom is hydrogen third atom is hydrogen come to the fourth atom fourth atom is here hydrogen whereas here the next atom is carbon so carbon is having more priority that is why we are giving priority to here three then fourth one what is the next thing i have to rotate the molecule from 1 to 2 to 3 to 
how i am going to do now the fourth priority is at the top whenever you want to give priority always the fourth atom the least priority atom should come to the down how we are going to make this to the down i cannot flip the molecule like this how i have to flip i have to do double exchange that means i have to do interchange between these two atom when i flip this two automatically these two also get flipped because it is actually the four atoms are like this now if you flip this two automatically automatically these two will also get flipped so oppositely you exchange the atom so the first thing is i am exchanging so ch3 this comes to oh this comes to ch2 ch3 now still my fourth atom is at the side only it is not at the bottom so do one more time the rotation do one more time the rotation when i am flipping this automatically opposite side also i have to flip now what will happen it will come hydrogen here oh here ch2 ch3 ethyl group comes here methyl group now give the priority oh is first ch2 is second ch3 is 3 then this is 4 now rotate the molecule what is this rotation is it clockwise or anti clockwise it is a anti clockwise direction so i can say the given molecule is s configuration it is not a r configuration suppose if i when i am doing the rotation if it comes in the clockwise rotation then i can assign the molecule as r this is the very simple system i can identify whether the given molecule is r or s hope you can understand this r and s notation very clearly now we can go for some example can you assign now what is the given molecule whether it is r or s configuration come on let us all do first give the priority based upon the atomic number chlorine is having the highest atomic number then nitrogen 7 carbon is having atomic number 6 so this goes to 3 this goes to 4 now always the fourth atom should be at the bottom so how i am going to do i am going to do the exchange between these two when i am flipping this automatically these two also or the opposite side also get flipped to other so now the hydrogen is here nh2 is here chlorine is here ch3 is here now fourth atom is at the bottom so now assign 1 2 3 4 now the rotation is 1 2 2 3 2 4 2. now you are having a doubt again this is a anti clockwise direction so it is yes now you are having a doubt that i have to rotate the molecule from 1 2 2 2 3 to 4 but i am bypassing this four i am crossing this four why i am doing this because it is the least atom and it is put at the last that is away from our plane that is why we are not considering this fourth it is like a very small atom and it is away from the plane so we are considering only the bigger group only that rotation comes as anti clockwise and this configuration is yes thank you students hope you understand this concept very well all the best